Mary Lou Combs last saw her daughter a few days before her 13th birthday and shared a secret about her gift. Around the same time, Mary had a heated argument with her mother and left in her red 1996 Plymouth Neon with Florida license plate G53RUB. The tag expired before the end of the year. Mary never made it to her daughter's birthday, highly out of the ordinary, so her sister-in-law called over to where Mary worked at the Red Lion. Mary hadn't picked up her paycheck either. Mary Lou Combs, 41, was officially missing from the Palm Coast of Florida, known as the Ham uh, the Hammock area in Flagler County. The Sheriff's Office is investigating. They can be reached at 386-313-4911. The, there is a rumor going around that there was a party that she attended in the neighborhood that Mary allegedly went to and overdosed at. Neither her body nor her car has been found to help piece together what actually happened. Investigators had searched areas along the Suwannee River and in the river itself. How long ago was it searched? Newer technology is available, and we'd like to take a crack at finding Mary so her family, her children, can have closure. I'm wondering a few things at the surface level. This was before cell phones could be pinged. Uh, was she an early bird or a night owl? Were there, what were the places that she liked to visit? Did she give away any possessions in the months before her disappearance? Does she prefer to drive on main roads or the back roads? Does she drive at night? Was there any road construction on her normal routes that had detours into unfamiliar areas? Were there any items she always had with her, like a water bottle, a certain like a Zippo lighter or something? Did she have any brand loyalties to gas stations, clothing, snacks and pop welcome to adventure sphere this channel is dedicated to missing people who are missing with a vehicle in the process we're creating a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team our services are free of charge we ask you to consider subscribing watch our content and help spread awareness of our endeavor they're all free so why not if you can donate a cup of coffee or two we have links in our description box if not no worries. The places I'll mention here in a minute are shared with my blessing. So Mary Lou can be reunited with her family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has her email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case confidentially, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from her last known location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on the bodies of water within five miles of their last known location and within five miles of their destination. Sentimental sites are also sonared. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home and the destination. So her last location was on Armand Beach Drive in the Palm Coast. The areas I would like to search initially would be the Madanzas River, uh, Pelliser Creek. There's a lot of dead-end roads to it. She could have stopped at any one of those on either side of the creek. The Herschel King Park, Silver Lake, the Moody Boat Ramp, Betty Steflick Memorial Park, the Halifax River, the San Sebastian River, there's River Beach Parking, 3.6 miles north of the home. Uh, the area, the, the water looks shallow in some of these rivers and creeks and stuff. But if you think about the tides coming in and out, that might have occurred when this was being mapped. And with hurricanes coming through there, it's very possible that the car could could have moved in or out from the specific area it was originally lodged. Uh, let's see here. So the Pelliser Creek, the Bird of Paradise Nature Preserve. And then on the mainland, there's the Pelliser Creek Cemetery. And I think it's a highway or a county road number 204, just to 
the north side of the street, there is a really interesting body of water that I'm kind of curious about. Um, then the Suwannee River, when they were, um, it was mentioned that that's where the party was at, but that is like probably two hours away, I would think. I can't see her going that far, but I've, she does have a history of drug abuse. Would they drive that far? I don't know. But she's trying to blow off some steam. And then I also got to thinking, I th oh, I've heard this saying somewhere, and I can't remember where it is. But when your enemies are close, you want to appear far away. And you want to appear very cl uh, very far away when you're close with something. So I'm wondering if at the time when investigators were searching, if they were like right there and they didn't know it and whoever they were interviewing said that she was way over in around the Swanee River to draw attention away from where they were searching. Just something to think about. If you'd like to help Mary's family find their sister and their daughter and their mom, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell to receive progress reports. If you have a few cents for a cup of coffee or two, please consider donating through one of the links in the description box. It'll go toward sonar equipment and other necessities to help find Mary Lou and other missing loved ones. The holidays will soon be upon us, and although it hasn't been said to me, being reunited with their loved one is one of the greatest gifts these families can receive. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play out so you can see the entire search area. If you see something that I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and remember that we love you.
Thank you.